morning at Sien, we're at Robotics booth. You're going to uh, tell us about the object teaching function for a new camera. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we have uh, a UR caps for the camera. So basically, uh, we have a UR cap tab now. We released the gripper, the pad, uh, this week, and we now have the camera location. So you insert that. Uh, it's already inserted here. You get that, the camera locate, and you get that interface uh, to teach an object. So calibration was did previously by us. Now we're just going to teach a new object. So this is the calibration that was saved for me. So this is basically the workspace that we use. Um, we could have many teach. Right now we only have one in this demo. I'm gonna select it. First thing, the robot will go to the snapshot position. So this is what we teach uh, when we were doing the calibration. Uh, the robot is always going to go back to this position to look at the parts. Um, now my first step is taking a photo of the background. So uh, we will start this. Uh, during this process, the camera will take a bunch of photos. We call all the backgrounds, so the workspace, uh, without the part. Uh, this takes uh, between one and two minutes. This is the longest part. And then the next step, we will add uh, our part. We will take a 2D photo. And then we're going to scan uh, the part uh, to have a 3D effect. So now the background is taken. I'm going to have my part like this. I'll take a snapshot of the part. This is a little bit faster. Uh, normally we would have all those other orientation. Uh, today it's not implemented, so it's still a work in progress. So I'm gonna take more photos of the same orientation. I can see the contour of the part that is recognized and uh, the feature of the part were uh, recognized also. So I'm going to accept this as a as a good snapshot. Now I can take off my background and we will do the 3D scan of the part. So now I just hold the scan button and the robot is going to move around and look at the part from different orientation. We will get the perspective effect with that and we will know the fate of the part which will also eliminate shape and stuff like that. So this take uh, roughly uh, 20 seconds. Now we're done with that. And now the only thing we will need to have beside that is uh, teaching our approach point, a pick point, and uh, an exit point to the pick and place. And everything will be uh, with a relative frame. So this is how you do the pick and place. You use a, a linear movement and you select the reference feature is a relative frame. And this will be updated by the position from the camera. So when we run our program, it's going to pick and place uh, using that. So maybe I can go and load what was already done. I can have, uh, I can show maybe how it does when we want to test the part. So we can run the test locating. We see the part uh, that was detected, so we can uh, have a couple different tests. So I can see the system always see my part. That's good. And now basically we will just run our demo program. So the program begins, uh, the camera is scanning for the part, it finds it, and then this demo is just uh, moving the part and bumping into it to have some random motion. So it's in, would you say that we can be set up with our uh, vision guided pick in place in about five minutes? Yeah, exactly. And then you can teach as many parts as you want and uh, as many workspace as you want. Each setup is roughly five minutes. Thank you very much, Etienne. Have a good day.